Hello everybody, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add post-processing in your Gorilla Tag fan game. Also, I would like to mention this whole thing is in URP, so I will put a video link to that in the top corner. Okay, first up, what you want to do is go to my Discord server down in the description and go to the post-processing channel and download the kosher lighting settings. And these lighting settings were not made by me, they were made by Kosher. So, W him. Once you have them imported, they should look like this. You're gonna go ahead, go to Window. window. You're gonna go down to Rendering, and then Lighting. And then this window should appear. What you want to do next is drag in the Kosher lighting settings into this part right here. And make sure, make sure progr progressive updates are, is turned off. On all of your game objects that don't move, make sure static is turned on. Next, what you want to do, you're, you want to go to your gorilla rig, gorilla player, main camera, click on that. And make sure on rendering, it has post processing turned on. You want to go to the layer of your main camera. You want to add a new layer, call it post processing, exactly like that. Next, you want to create an empty game object and call it post processing, exactly like this, the exact spelling. Next, you want to add a volume to it. You're going to create new, make sure it is on one, and the rest is good. Next, you're going to go ahead and add override, and you're going to add tone mapping. Make sure it's on all, and it's on ASUS. Next, you're going to add balloon, copy these settings, the skip integrations, I would recommend two, but I'm using four because I have more lighting. Color curvatures, you just click all, you don't really need to do anything with it. Color adjustments, click all, make sure they're my settings. Next, go to depth of view. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but click all and make sure they're my settings. Okay. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.